Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falco Paladin coming to you with yet another StarCraft Brood War Remastered upload. This time, it's a game between Flash and Zero here on Electric Circuit. In the top right-hand corner of the map, we've got the green Terran player. His name is Flash. And in the bottom right-hand corner of the map, it's the purple Zerg player. His name is Zero. All right, so Zero versus Flash, a TVZ edition of Brood War Remastered for you today. This is from 2010. I want to say, oh, 2012. Let me double check that. Fact check myself there. The 2012 classic match between Flash and Zero. Found this replay pack on TeamLiquid.net. It's a good place to find really great players playing amazing games of StarCraft Remastered. So, welcome. I do this every Saturday. Saturday, for those of you who do not know, it is basically the one day a week where I get to indulge in nostalgia. All right, here we go. Electric Circuit is the map. Flash is starting his wall with a Supply Depot, which basically you have to do. And, woo, floating overlord. Scout in the correct direction for once. All right, so it looks like, let's see, it looks like Zero is saving up. It is saving up for a hat first versus Flash. He's not worried. He's not worried about a macro game with Flash, but maybe he should be. Flash is an incredible macro player, and I don't know. I don't know. If I need to sell you on how great Flash is, because you're here, you probably clicked because it's head flash. But yeah, he's an incredible micro player, incredible, incredible with micro as well and decision making as well. I mean, that's just, that's your that's your trifecta right there. If you're good at all three of those things, you're real good at StarCraft. Overlord will scout this. Uh, there is a drone scouting the left, unless it's going for a third base. I have noticed a trend in Brood War of Zerg players taking their third bases far away, far, far away from their naturals. And it usually is on a four-player map where they can actually gain two additional expansions by doing it there instead of somewhere closer to home. So it's a bit of a gamble, but it seems to be something that Zerg players are okay with doing. Spawning pool on the way here from our Zerg player. Flash, on the other hand, his barracks is just about complete. And here it is. Beak. Let's probably start some marine production. And in fact, he is really not much else you can do here <laughs> at the first stage of the game. you got to have an academy anything else is he making another nope it's another supply depot for this wall so this wall is perfect i mean this wall is down pixel perfect he knew where to start the supply depot so that he could fit another one here and a barracks there and lift and relocate for an add-on what was that or does he just want a little gap so he can actually get out i don't know what that was felt like relocating a tiny bit though and i guess so the scb can get back in and now he's gonna close it off no that doesn't look closed off that looks as as wide open as it was. So I don't know. Command center coming up here for Flash 2. He has one racks, double supply depot, expanding and getting that refinery up north. Extractor on the way for zero. Two SCV scouts. This and says, all right, so there aren't going to be speedlings anytime soon. It's a pretty darn macro opening as there's a third hatch coming up right now for zero two just north of his main base. So very, very close together are these three expansions. For the Zerg player, should be very easy for him to defend against anything that Flash throws at him, especially especially if he has some good scouting, and he does. Got an Overlord up this right side, other Overlord watching the front door of Flash to see what's going to come on out. And yeah, he didn't even bother scouting the rest of the way with the drone out on that left side, because he knows. He knows where Flash is, and he knows where to where to check to see where Flash is going to attack him. He keeps relocating this barracks up, down, up, down, perhaps just giving it some exercise. There is an academy in production way up here in the top right corner. In fact, these names are kind of covering it a little bit there, which is kind of fun. But anyway, there's an academy coming up for Stim. I'm assuming for the Marines, you really don't want to go bio unless you have Stim. This doesn't make any sense that, uh, to do that without those upgrades. And we've seen Flash go pure bio, bio tank against Zerg players. We've also seen him switch into pure mech halfway through the game. So you got to be on your toes if you're playing against an elite Terran player in StarCraft Brood War. This SEV really wants to get a scout off here. Uh, speed is not even close to being done here, so assuming the micro is good, he should be able to escape with his life for at least a few more seconds. Possibly even a little bit more than that. Anyway, that is a pretty good... I did like the update to the Marines. They look pretty fancy with the remastered skin here. Alright, so where are we going to see some big decision making? That's a lair on the way from Zero. I don't think we've seen a Flash vs. Zero game. We've seen Zero on the channel and Flash on the channel, obviously, but... Most of the Zero games that I believe I've cast have been against Protoss players, like Bisu, and possibly Pure as well. 
So that might be his first ZBT that I've seen. But he's really, really, really solid player. Very excited to see what he's up to. And, ah, Flash is getting an armory. Okay, pretty darn quick armory here. Is he going for a factory? Nope, that's a starport. He already has a factory. But he's going double starport here. So two port. Is that... Or is that something else? Is that a barracks? Oh, that's a barracks. Okay, just kidding. One starport. Man, I really wish I could tell what they were in the earlier stages of the constructing here. All right, so speedlings. Are they speedy? They are speedy. They are out. That SCV is dead. It's taking a fourth base way up in the top left-hand corner. Is zero. And a fifth base. Wow. He's double expanding on Flash here. What is happening right now? Flash, you're five minutes in. You got to get out there and get some pressure on the Zerg player or he's absolutely just going to crush you, dude. It's going to be a crushing. He's going to be on five bases to your two bases. I almost feel like Flash needs to move out and kill a base. It's not just harassment that he needs to do, but he needs to destroy one of these hatches while expanding himself, possibly. I don't know. Spire, just about done here for zero. Two. Did he scan it? I don't know if he did. I don't know if he scanned it or not here. And there it is. Spire done. Stim getting started now. Does he have an engineering bay? He has an engineering bay. Is he going to make any missile turrets is the question. Ah, getting a Valkyrie. Okay, so Valkyries with their splash damage versus air are very good against Mutas. They are one of the things that were introduced in the Brood War expansion for the original StarCraft because Mutas were super great in ZBT. There really wasn't a good answer for them. Raids were bad. Yeah, Marines were good, but they had stim but no medics. So they would stim themselves, bring down their HP, and then if they stimmed again, they were further injured and could never recover that health. Couple Marines out here going to die. Just checking to see the Ling count at the front. And there are a few of them, definitely. But you can push out and kill this. I am wholly, wholly certain here. Mutalisk joining the party. This might change things just a little bit, though. Mutas flying around, causing major problems. Missile turrets already done. And others in production. Valkyries here, too. Yeah, you notice these Mutas all taking damage. All took damage from the Valkyrie that splashed damage. It's one of my favorite animations in the game is this one right here. Just the little clouds falling out. The missiles exploding all over the place. It's very, very nice. All right, so pushing out. Here comes the Flash. The Mutas really can't engage here. Ooh, ah. Yeah, too many Marines. Too many Marines. The push down south is happening. Ling Muta trying to handle this Marine Valkyrie. Interestingly enough, this Marine Valkyrie play with some medic support, obviously. I and mean, you don't really want to do Marines without medics. Pushing, and does he, he has to know. Oh, some Scourge in the air getting picked off from the ground. Nice target firing there from Flash. Valkyrie's still alive though. I don't think they took any damage. Still got those guys selected. Yeah, I guess they took a little bit of damage there, but it's okay. And yeah, he's heading out to kill one of these bases. He knows, he knows where the main is for zero, but he's gonna kill this one in the bottom left. Instead, Muta attack going the other way. I don't... Is what's left here for Flash to defend? He's got a Valkyrie. Oh, does he have a Valkyrie? Ugh. Valkyrie? Yes, yeah, still alive somehow. Bunkers full of Marine. Okay, this bottom left base is going to die. He did leave enough Marines to take this thing down. Chasing down a drone. Where are the Mutas at? The Mutas are just hanging out, man. They're not quite sure if they want to go in there or not. They have taken damage from Valkyries already thus far. And then, yes, some free SCVs here in the main of Flash. This is not looking good at all. Okay, Scourge are trying. They do manage to take out a Valkyrie there. Mutalisk still flying around, trying to find more damage. Valkyrie getting some incredible splash damage on the Scourge. Trying to finish off those Valkyries, though. The Valks, yeah, these Mutas are super, super injured right now. They do not want to take any damage from anything or they will start falling out of the sky. Another base is done for zero. So this is very interesting. Bottom left base is dead. So I was correct on that one, but hasn't expanded out of it. Has Flash here. Again, Mutas directly engaging wings too. This Marine group is very, very good. Picking Scourge off, getting rid of Soul Overlords. Muta Flock, not nearly as big or healthy as it used to be. But still, zeros on one, two, three, four, five bases. The top left base, I'm pretty sure, has not been scouted by Jadong at this point. Is he making a third base here at the nine minute mark? I'm trying to see if he has one or not. But again, the ways of Jadong are mysterious. Got Hydralisks in production for the Zerg player. Working on Vulture movements is Flash. He might be transitioning into some mech here. Is he continuing to make Marines? Yeah, he's still making Marines though. 
We'll have to wait and see. I mean, that's the best part about StarCraft is you don't know. You don't know what decisions are going to be made, what tech switches we're possibly going to see here. But it's 92.91 total supply. Marines. Valkyries. I mean, just fantastic against the Scourge Mutal Ling thing. The compositional choice is brilliant. Out of flash right now. But again, macro style. The macro of zero just looks like it's in a much better position here. Flash decides to head up left. He may have scanned. It's entirely possible that he could have scanned this top left-hand side. Got some lurkers out. There we go. That's what those hydras were. Hydras turned into lurkers and going to burrow themselves where? Are they going to move in out? No, they're defensive. They're defensive lurkers. And yeah, I don't know if this is enough marines to go in there. Might need more than that, plus a scan. So pulling back and saying, you know what? This is a better location for me to hang out in. Scourge trying to find some of those dudes. Yeah, here we go. Pushing right on in. Wow, losing a lot of Marines. But finishing off those most of those Lurkers as well. No, there was still one remaining. Catching some spines from the back before he's finally destroyed and pushed out of the ground there. Well, killed from the ground. More Lurkers joining on in. Flash says, get out of there. Oh, we're stuck. We are trapped here. Lurkers coming in from all sides. No. Yeah, everyone dead. Everyone dead. All right, more Marines pushing out here. Third base is being constructed by Flash right now. Protecting his top left base effectively with Lurkers was zero there. Yeah, working on vehicle weapons, getting spider mines, possibly just to try to deal with the lings on the ground. I don't know that they've done a whole lot against Flash at this point, but... If he's worried about them, then who am I to say he shouldn't be worried about them? Yeah, speedy, speedy vultures running around. Spider-Man upgrade almost done for these guys. They cannot wait until that one is done. I can tell you this much. All right, so Mutaflox still here. Got a Nidus Canal, got a Defiler Mount coming up. Dark Swarm is the spell that is pretty much endgame for every Zerg and every matchup ever. Wings attacking right into these marines though lurker's not really engaged until it was a little bit too late scouting with his barracks and yeah making four factories at a time so here's the transition here is the transition in the mech out of flash that is so many lurkers though what is that that is eight lurkers eight lurkers on the ground they do have plus one ground carapace which means everybody shares that a lot of spider mines being sowed here between that third base and fourth ish base <laughs> on the left side. Here for zero. What? Yeah. Vulture's killing stuff. Ah, Vulture's killing lings here. Lurkers trying to say, you know what? Uh, no. How about you stop killing our Zerglings? And uh, Vulture's say, why did you come into our spider mine? How does that sound to you? Not super good. Not super good, say the Lurkers. They decided to not go in there after all. They are heading up left, though. A couple defensive Lurkers ready to defend that one, too. But I think the Vulture should be able to slip right past them and get in to this base. There is a Nidus Canal connecting somewhere, connecting to one base that has a unit that can help defend here. Yeah, I don't... Okay, I know that's too many. The five is too many. I thought there were just two. The five lurkers are looking pretty fantastic. 124 to 123 total supply. Sunken colony. Trying to defend this fourth-ish base location. Well, Spider Mine's actually engaging on the... Wow, killing two of the lurkers very, very nicely there. The other one getting target fired quickly before they can burrow. What a play by Flash there. And pushing in to this fourth space location. Lurkers burrowing themselves. Trying to get rid of... Are they actually attacking Spider Mines that are burrowed? That is very interesting indeed. All right, this is a lot. This is a lot of stuff in this base. A lot of dead drones. This is just absolutely getting obliterated. By the flash. Marines, vultures trying to take down this hatchery for the second hatch kill of this game. The filers sort of ready to rock here. They're working on plague. They're working on a faster overlord movement coming in here too. And yeah, the spider mines are just kind of setting up a nice little contain on zero on this bottom right. The thing is, he does have the top left. The top left is his, although there is an engagement set up there with vultures He's planning to go on there as well. Yeah, this is chaos. This is a chaotic game right now. Just more and more spider mines. They can't really break it with the vultures, says Flash, but that's okay. Coming on in. Oh, man, the spider mines engaging. Yeah, spider mines splash damage still counts under the defiler round. Single target damage is the problem here, which these marines. Get out. Get out from the dark swarm. Everybody's going to die. Yeah, everybody's super dead. Super dead there. All right, it's 139 to 128 total supply. Flash is up, but not by a whole ton. 
at this stage. The game is expanding to, well, he's already expanded to a fourth base, which is being hit by Guardians. Holy smokes. Guardians out for zero here at 14 minutes into the game. Valkyrie's going to finish them off as they are entirely unsupported. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That is not good. That is real, real bad there. Skirt getting a couple explosions in, though. That's good. Killing a couple of them. Perhaps allowing more of them to escape. Ugh. More hits on the Scourge still continuing to flee from these Valkyrie. One does go down. Scourge hit takes out another Valkyrie, but man alive, so many of these guys are getting taken down. How many Guardians are left? That guy has no, no health, man. He's got uh, zero, zero hit points because he's dead. Man, Suicide Valkyrie is flying in to take out those Guardians. I'm surprised. Maybe that's why we don't see Guardians as much. Because Valkyries are a very effective counter to them. APM for these players, well over 200 right now. Closer to 200 and 280 uh, ish for the zero. So Flash is able to replant his fourth base location. His fifth base is happily running. He's got a sixth base now as well. His macro is kicked into major, major overdrive. He's working on Vultures. I'm surprised there aren't as many tanks in this game, but Wings rolling into that fourth base location. Zero has not been interested in allowing this base to continue. Yeah, a single Guardian here to take it down as well, forcing the lift off on the command center. Kindness plating coming in, which means we should see Ultras at some point here, working on the melee attack and the ground carapace, as well as Metasynaptic Node for the plus 50 on the Pilar Energy. All the rest of the out for Flash. Here we go. Here are the tanks. What are they shelling right now? Something's shelling something. There are battles all over the place right now. Goliaths are actually out. Getting a oh, plague his own overlord. Oh, plague the Goliath too. So maybe it's fair trade. I don't actually know. Ling's running up getting obliterated. Just removed by these spider mines. But they're going to take out the tanks here too. Ooh, tank turning fire. Not good. Not good if you happen to be a Terran player. All right. So we've got Dark Swarm here defending this top left-hand corner of Zeros. Hearing tank fire. Where's their tank fire right now? There's so much, so much teal on the map right now. Yeah, this is just the slow and steady flash push that we've seen. Tanks, with good upgrades, Goliaths, Vultures. Knocking down this side disruptor, which is providing access to this base. Oh, it is. It's blocking off access to that base, as well as these mineral patches, which I think you have to harvest from. But the Vulture can get, get through without. Another huge attack up north here, though. Major, <laughs> major attack. The splash damage taking out the wings, as it can do. But this base up on the right side of zeros is gone. Oh, and it's a backdoor into the main base here too. There are still drones in the main base and they are fairly unprotected right now. Is anything gonna save these drones? The worker count has gotta be plummeting for zero right now, having lost basically all of the workers at two of his bases, fully saturated bases too. Wings trying to come in and deal with this. The ultras are out though. Ultras are exactly what you want against the vultures. Got a, sing <laughs> Got a single Valkyrie here being taken down by some of them scurs. And Lurkers trying to set up. Okay, that works. Dark Swarm did go up here at this fifth space location. The flash up on the top side. Wings rolling and getting taken down by tank fire, getting taken down by vultures that defy Lur, taking splash. And it is gone. Lurker down from the tanks too. All right, so tanks seem to be a good answer here to what Zero is trying to do. He does manage to save his base up top. Flash does, he's expanding the bottom left somehow. Well, not the bottom very left, but towards the bottom left. It's 160 to 143, total supply. And just look at this. This green started out in the top right-hand corner, and now it is everywhere. It is seemingly everywhere. Overlord is trying to scout out these tanks on the high ground. They took out this right side base entirely of Zero. This third base location has been taken, has been removed. And the Greater Spire remains. I'm not sure we're going to see any more Greater Spires, though. Ultras seem to be the tech of choice. 
for a zero right now, but with the number of tanks on the field and with that plus two upgrade with a plus three on the way here too, I'm not sure that's what you want to do. I'll always remember the first time I tried to run about eight Ultralisks into just a wall of tanks my buddy had. They were just gone and he laughed. He was in the other room. We were doing a land party. He just laughed so hard. Lings and Ultras with Dark Swarm getting right on top of these tanks, but there are just too many tanks. I know the upgrades on the Ultras are good, and they're actually taking out a few tanks here, but... Oh, they're going to get rid of all of them? What? This Ultra has, like, negative hit points. He has seven hit points. Ooh, Vulture finished him off there. Yikes. Yikes. So, yeah, again, did push through, but not necessarily enough to crush everything here. And, again, Flash always has more units ready to go. Always has more units ready to go. Dark Swarm. Right on top of these tanks, this Ultra trying to finish them off here. Is there anything? Okay, there is some Flash damage. Take him down, but uh, still alive. Still alive. Three kills on him. Goodbye. Vulture continuing to rock on through. Does he have full upgrades? Where are you, Ultra Lisk? Here you are. You have five armor and two, so one more attack. What you're working on? What you're working on that melee attack? That's six Ultras in production right now. That is six Ultra Lisks in production right now. Another base taken. Yep. Flash said, I know you had more bases than me at the start of this game, but it turns out I think I might have more now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bases for Flash. One, two, three, four, five, six for Zero. So Zero's not exactly hurting for income right now. And plus, the Ling's going to take down this base along the bottom left-ish side. It's been here for a while, which means there are a lot of SCPs, which means they're all absolutely going to be killed. Uh, unless they can escape from the Cracklings, which it doesn't seem like they can. I'm going to go with no. No, they cannot do that. Does he have an upgrade? I don't know, but somehow there is a Goliath drop inside the main base, trying to attack stuff indiscriminately. Lurkers trying to stop this attack up the right side. No, save the tanks. No, save the vultures. The Ultras have popped. They are clearing out the Goliaths inside the main base. It is 159 to 143 total supply. Zero is still up, ladies and gents. Still up, but Ling's up in this top fourth-ish, fifth-ish base. Actually causing major problems. Can I get that tank? No. Vulture says no. No, you can't. Forcing a lift off on that base on the top left. Left-ish side of flashes. This game is absolute insanity. Have we taken... Yeah, trying to do that ling drop on these tanks with the splash damage kills each other. It's kind of worked. It really worked a lot better than I expected it to. More Ling just getting right on top of these things. The Vultures are the escort, so the Vultures say, I know how vulnerable you are to Lings. So we're going to be here to make sure the Lings don't just surround you and kill every single one of you guys. Yeah, the tanks are working on the plus three. The plus three is almost done now. And Flash finally pushing into the top left-hand corner, something he hasn't been able to do all game to this point. The Ultras, again, in this right-hand base of Flash, they have... I mean, not they haven't, but Zero's taken this base down, it seems like, three or four times. With Lings, with Guardians, with Ultralisks. There's the Dark Swarm. Ultra is trying to come out and deal with these tanks, but the split on the tanks is just impeccable for Flash here. Continuing to push up here. The Ultra's rolling in, but they just... Yeah, I mean, they're taking so much damage from the tanks from distance here. I think that's going to be it. I really don't see the Ultra's clearing this one out. Just too many tanks. The spread is too good. The Dark Swarm can't cover all of them and if they could the splash damage is really great single vulture tries to get in here and take this base down all by himself and nope there are still some units defending here it's 149 to 123 total supply zero is up i just feel like the units that are available here ooh, are pretty good is he doing the drop thing i think he's doing the drop thing here yeah, dropping those wings on top of the tanks. Ultralisk trying to tank some damage. Does manage to tank a bunch, but then ends up dead anyway. Vulture's going for the run by. <laughs> going for the run by into this base in the top left hand corner. Ultra is popping out. Wings at just the right time. All the vultures are going to die. Except this guy might escape. No, he's absolutely not going to escape. And Ultra is charging on top of these tanks. This game is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Trying to kite back and back and back to the tanks to splash. Borp, 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 borp. APM at 300 right now for Flash. This Ultra has three kills, but then other tanks show up. Pick him up. Pick him up and run with him. Overlords? No. Yeah, economically, it's 
that's every base on this map been taken? Every base except for this one right here. So there's one base on this map that hasn't been taken. There are a lot of them. Continuing to do this ling drop strategy onto the tanks. Which is working okay. Then some goliaths show up and get the overlord the heck on out of there. Again, they have the plus three attack. And the turn on boosters, which means they do 24 damage per shot and pretty quickly and from a good distance. So yeah, these overlords need to run. Tanks setting the siege mode. Going to try to finish off this base out of the Nidus Canal. Come the Ultras and the Lings and actually <laughs> manage to save the date. At least temporarily. Lings and Ultras on another base along the left side of Flash. Sharon Booster. The Fire taking out all of these overlords. Hatchery taking some direct fire here too. I feel like Elias are trying to target fire down the drones, which okay, it's almost totally fine. I suppose... Yeah, I mean, this is just a lot. This is a lot of lings. This is a lot of ultralisks. Is he actually going to do this thing? Is he actually going to push this thing back? Kind of sort of seems like he is. Until more vultures show up anyway. Scourge getting target fired by the Goliath. That's a good target firing there. It's 110 to 106 total supply. We're still very, very close. Both players keep losing stuff. Yeah, these bases still aren't back. For Daydong, he had these bases at some point. And now they are out. I really wish I could get a worker count here because the number of drones that have been killed in this game just feels like it's very, very high. It is super mega high. Vulture's in that, oh, wonderful position of being behind a mineral line where the links have a hard time getting that surround they want on them. Finally, if you bring enough, though, you'll be able to pull it off here. Overlord killed. More Dark Swarm. The Defilers have just been working absolutely overtime here. Oh, Spider Mines. Say, your Zerglings are irrelevant. I have Spider Mines. This has been the Gettysburg field, man. This has been the place that has just been a complete bloodbath for what feels like the last 10 minutes of the game, but it's probably less than that because it's been so intense. More Nidus. <laughs> Action here, coming from the hatches, coming from the Nidus Canal, and actually, did he manage to clean this thing up? Oh, spider Mine takes down a Defiler. And one more Ultra taken out by reinforcing tanks. See, this is why beating Flash is so hard. He keeps bringing more and more units. Just when you think you've got it, you got the contain broken. Just when you think you got this taken care of, this happens. And he shows up with eight more tanks. And then you're just desperately making units at all your bases, getting some lurkers here, hoping that's going to be enough. But no, not with the tanks from this distance, though. Do you have another scan available on that wing? Pouring out of the Nidus Canal. Oh, man. Zerklings just in the nick of time. Cracklings with their full upgrade. Pa, 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 pa. And again, retreating until reinforcing units can come in here for <laughs> Oh, drones here. Are they trying to fight? No, they're trying to get gas, but it's not. Another huge swarm of lings on top of these tanks. spider Mine's getting hit, though. Yes, Friendly Fire taking out some tanks, but all the lings are totally gone. Defiler, not much energy on him. More lings, more Defilers popping on out. I cannot believe the APM required to be doing this right now. Uh, SV, SCVs coming up. The bottom left-hand corner is under attack as well. I cannot believe how much is going on. These three bases that Jadong used to have, or Jadong Flash used to have, are gone. Ladies and gentlemen, Vulture's finding a nice sweet spot to kill some of these drones that are providing the resources that is allowing Zero to do this. Another attack. I mean, I, I feel like I've said this a lot. Oh, a plague. That's new. A plague on these teams. <laughs> Defiler down, Lurker, Ultra shows up. Tanks with Plague on them versus Ultra. Not, not ideal. Oh, no, but if the Ultra goes down, uh, Spider Mine fire as well as Tank fire here. Does he reestablish? Yes. Flash reestablishes this left base. He's trying to reestablish. Oh, but no, Zero took a base here first. <laughs> Ooh, that was a really good spike. Just right down that length. Vulture's again getting in here, killing more and more of these drones. It's 112 to 106 total supply. This game is absolutely bonkers. I don't know that I've had a crazier TVZ game in Brood War in my entire life. Okay, I haven't had a lot of them. But this tank count is getting a little bit crazy. It's getting really difficult, I think, for a zero to break here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 of them with those upgrades. Almost have full upgrades on the armor, too, but 
doesn't. Pace, again, causing problems. A couple links in that Overlord, dude. You can drop them if you want. SED is running for their lives. Taking this base once again is Jadong along the left side. Link's clearing out this bottom left. <laughs> and another huge group of links. I mean, I don't even know what to say anymore. I might just. Let the game speak for itself a little bit. Yeah, one ultra versus this many tanks. This, again, the spread is ridiculous. Friendly fire splash. Almost taking down that sea tank, but no. Didn't quite get it there. Vultures. Making sure the links can't do this. I kind of feel like this is different. This is a different push than we've seen for the last 20 minutes of the game. The tank count is higher. The vulture count is good. Zero slowly able to send fewer and fewer units in here. There's a dark swarm, but is there anything to take it out? I don't know. It looks like this hatch is going to die. Yep, the hatch ends up dead there. Drone gets hatched and killed there, too. All right. 110 to 102 total supply. Flash is up. It's time to go, ladies and gentlemen. Vultures trying to find their way. Actually, more defending. More defending this space than anything else. The tanks need to go. They need to go get this Nidus Canal. Get this Nidus Canal. Finish off these top left-hand bases. I feel like we're in a better spot here. Zergling's just running around willy-nilly trying to find stuff to pick off any three units that they can find is good for them. Any of these vultures dying is just fine. I mean, other vultures, the vultures are the mineral dump stat. Dump stat? Dump unit? For flash here, but they're still pretty darn good against those wings. All right, tanks, let's move. Let's move. Let's continue to push. Although, is he happy killing that base? He might just be happy. Killing that base here. Finally able to clear out the overlords here in this center top position, in this 12 o'clock position, with some Goliath. Are they going to get it before he flees? Looks like he has fleed up into the high ground. No, he can still get hit. How about now? Still. Yeah. Still invisible there. All right. The tanks have shown up to the top left-hand corner. Zero's in a ton of trouble right now. He's going to lose three bases in short order. And I just don't know if there's really any coming back from that. Flash's APM is real high right now. Is that a queen? Actually seeing a queen. I haven't seen... I don't think I've seen a single one of those in the end that I've cast thus far. That's incredible. Goodbye, Overlord. Goodbye, hatchery. Goodbye, another hatchery. Yeah, these hatches are toast. It's 113 to 97 total supply. Flashes up. It doesn't feel like that much, but losing the income of three bases in short order for a Zerg player is really hard to come back from. Lings into this right side base, this horribly, horribly oppressed base. For the entirety of this game, more SCVs are dying. Again, I wish you could tell how many SCVs have died. Versus how many drones, because I feel like... Despite a huge number of drones that have been killed, the SEV kill count right now has just got to be pretty big, too. Yeah, just abandoning this right side base entirely and allowing these bottom left hand bases to be taken by zero. Well, we're 33 minutes in, ladies and gentlemen. I did not expect this game to be this long. That is one of the good things about casting blind, is you don't know when this thing's going to end. Wow. Okay, okay. So tank count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, like 20 of them? You could do spawn broodling? Oh, he parasited. So he parasited one of these tanks. So now, this tank reveals vision to the Zerg player. But here we go. Bottom left. Two lurkers, a defiler, and a couple sunken colonies. I don't think is enough to stop this giant tank push out of Jadong's. Yeah, there was a plague. It caught three of the tanks and a vulture. Not a huge deal. More taking down the Psy emitter that are preventing access to this base. Oh, which has been taken. Okay, so every base, every base on the map has been taken. And this is a lot of bases, you guys. This is a really big map for that. Oh, an infested command center. What? I didn't see. Oh, that was the queen was for. Oh, infested command center scouting. That's hilarious. You can make infested Terrans with that. Not, I'm not sure how useful they would be against this number of tanks. I don't know. Kind of regular old suicide melee units, but 
that's okay. Ultra's trying to push this tank thing back by themselves, but there's only three of them, and as I said, like 15 to a million tanks. Here we go again, just marching in inexorably with the Ultras getting right on top of the few tanks that were remaining here. Are you kidding me? He waited for enough tanks to leave, got some Dark Swarms down, finished them off. Reinforcing tanks do show up here. Spider Man! engaging. Oh, Spider-Mine, did that finish off both of those guys? Maybe it did. Alright, so another hatchery gonna go down. There's a handful of tanks here remaining. They need more than a handful, like eight. Yeah, eight of them. Setting up in range of both of these at the same time. I love this positioning out of Flash. Two hatches go and go down. And yeah, his front got broken, but he's man, killing sources of income for zero is the priority right now. So there we go. Both hatches are completely removed from this game. And just what kind of income is there? There's this base that's mining, and that's it. Zero's down to one mining base. He's still making it. He's still doing his best. The Filer gets sniped by those vultures, who then get revenge on the sunken colony. And yeah, the tanks are just an A move right now. They're not even really bothering to siege up against the sunken colonies and against these wings, and maybe, it, maybe it's enough. Whoa! Suddenly a huge number. Of Ling showing up with a single Ultra List, who is now versus several fully upgraded tanks, and that's just not going to work out well for him. It's really not. Trying to replant his bottom left hand base here. The Dark Swarm is up. More Ultras coming out. Where is Zero getting all of this? I don't understand. Nope. Tanks can't win that little kiting hiding activity. All right, Ultras. Ooh. And now they're gone. All right, see, again, where'd this army come from? I don't know. Jadong can just do this. Did you just land your infested command center next to the command center of flashes on the right side? Dude, make infested Terrans with it. He needs all of his resources to make Ultras and Lings, though. It is just Ultra Ling Day. Ultra Ling Day. Zero retaking the bottom left-hand bases here. He's what? He's retaking them. In production, five tanks at a time, a couple of Goliaths, some more SCVs. Overlord, do you have anything in you, Overlord? Well, you did. Oh, it's an Ultra Drop with a Defiler. Oh, that's amazing. But Spider Mines are so good. Okay. Goodbye, Overlord. Goodbye, Defiler. Goodbye, Ultra. Yeah, most of. Flash's army was here defending that, as it turns out. Is that another infested command center? By golly, it is. Oh, did he make an infested turn and I missed it? Oh, I hope not. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. All right, where are you, infested command centers? It's so ridiculous. Another ultra drop up here to the north. Ultra's dead. The number of overlords killed by Goliath has also got to be pretty high. It turns out 114 to 79 total supply. Flash's lead continues to increase. Over time here, there's our other infested command center. All right. Lings and Ultra Dark Swarm. That is it. That is the key. That is how we're going to break this thing. Says zero. Tanks are absolutely dying. So are Lings, though, too. The cost efficiency. I cannot wait to see the final stat in this game to see the numbers, but... No infested command center. Why? Seems fair. Another ultra attack at the right side of base here that has been under attack the entire game. It really has not been allowed to rest by zero because it's so close to his house. Oh, yes, he's dead. Another attack of ultras. More tanks. More goliaths. If the ultras go down, I think we're okay with this. Wow, simultaneous deaths. Oh, more tanks are over here the whole time. Okay. That's fine. 86 to 76. The total number of supplies seems to be falling pretty quickly, too. I feel like we could research the spawn broodling upgrade to just one-shot these tanks, but it's 
not really worth it for the amount of energy that it costs and the number of tanks that can be out anyway. Wow, nice tank hit on those drones. Coming down to drone in the bottom left-hand corner where there is actually a vulture here. So I think Flash is going to have to kill these bases again for the multiple time. Drones running for their lives. A single ultra and five hydralisks in production. I don't know that you want hydras here, Zero. I really don't. That. Oh, that's a Nidus. Kill the Nidus. Oh, it did force a cancel on the Nidus. That works too. That totally works as well. <laughs> Landing the infested command center. Does he have any enough money to make an infested Terran? I think he does. He just 100, 100. Don't actually know. Is this? No. Are you seriously going to be able to hold this? Zero. What is going on? This game's getting an epic tag. I cannot believe the back and forth on this game. We're 40 minutes into this thing. And it's 80 to 43 total supply. Yes, because, again, Flash is a god. And he's just able to make five tanks at a time the entirety of the game and not really worry about it, you know. Spider-Man dies before it can actually burrow. And then, look, reinforcements. Reinforcements. The filers can target fire down there. In production, for zero is literally nothing. Zero things are being produced right now. It's 94 to 36 total supply. Flash is going to win this, but holy smokes, let nobody say it was easy. Let nobody say it was an easy win. Where are you going, tanks? This is a stupid pathing moment. I feel like it's a stupid pathing moment. Go up the thing, yeah. Single lurker trying to get rid of all these tanks, and that's it. There's your good game. <laughs> out of zero and flash uh, is your winner in 41 minutes and 29 seconds yes that that was zvt yeah, it really just came down to flash's ability to kill zero's bases kill this top left corner kill the bottom left or bottom left corner a couple times as well effectively shut that thing down while managing to keep most of his stuff yeah this right side base got killed a couple times these two too but you know what this one is actually dead as well what okay so he just killed more bases of zeros managed to keep his main pretty intact while taking some damage to his main as well but just continued tank production continued vulture production some goliaths as necessary and that was all she wrote so let's check out our final stats which is always fun <laughs> 1224 units produced by zero and 865 by flash he killed 1066 lost 600 of his own somehow hmm somehow zero lost more than flash killed but maybe some like plague discrepancies or something there lurker splash damage Either way, yeah, killed 59 bases to the 29, killed by zero. And resources here, zero actually mined a lot more stuff. It was just the cost efficiency. The cost efficiency of the tanks from distance, the vultures being able to get away, spider mines too. And that's it. I mean, it's 30,000 to 20,000 gas mined, 70,000 to 60,000 minerals mined, and 99,000 to 85,000 spent for zero. It's just mech is cost efficient. That's what it's all about. All right, so that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.